tell me please why you think she's dead? She's cold. She's not breathing. I texted CPR earlier and she was unresponsive. Well, you were just listening to parts of the 911 call made by the parents of a 10 month old child after they found her dead in her crib. John's father is already serving life in prison for the girl's death. And on Wednesday, her mother heard her fate in the Kent County courtroom. Oxford's Michael Martin was there and has more on what that was. Michael. Janice, Doug, this was a quick sentencing. We didn't hear much from the child's mother, Tatiana Fusari. Clearly emotional, though, when her daughter's condition was brought up. In August 2018, parents Tatiana Fusari and Seth Welch called police about an hour and a half after they walked into their 10-month-old daughter Mary's room and found her unresponsive. So you're saying it's normal for your children to sleep from around 3 p.m. till 10 a.m.? Uh, yeah. The parents told police they had put their daughter to bed at 3.30 p.m. the previous day only checking on her at 10 a.m. the next morning. Cold, she's not breathing. I texted CPR earlier and she was unresponsive. Both parents were charged with child abuse and murder. The girl's father sentenced to life in prison in January 2020. This is uh, uh, a tragic case from where I'm sitting. Uh, I'm not sure that I'll ever understand what these parents were thinking or doing to uh, I guess I would have to say literally watch their child start to death. At the time, Tatiana testified that Welch had been violently abusive towards her, arguing that the abuse affected her ability to properly take care of her children. Regardless, she was also found guilty on all charges. I think the evidence was clear that uh, yeah, she, was, she was beaten and raped and uh, she had a framed perspective given to her by you know, her then husband, uh, Seth Welch. On Wednesday, Fusari was sentenced to life in prison without the possibility of parole. First case, Your Honor, is the People versus Tatiana Fusari. Her attorney telling Fox 17 Wednesday that Fusari maintains her innocence. People don't understand the full impact of what that meant, how victims of sexual assault, physical assault, emotional assault, go through these things and what they have to put up with in order to survive on a day-to-day -day basis. When given the chance to address the court Wednesday, she declined to comment. Mr. Sorry, is there anything you would like to say before I impose on us? Thank you. No? All right. Well, fair enough. According to her attorney, she plans to immediately appeal her conviction. I've tried many, many uh, uh, murder cases um, and um, this was probably one of the most complicated just by virtue of the issues that were involved. Yeah, and while we didn't hear much from her, Judge Paul Denenfeld did speak briefly in court before issuing the sentence. He brought up the fact that the 10-month-old child weighed just eight pounds when she died. Yeah, and Michael, you've been covering this from the very beginning and back in 2018, and we're showing it to you now. The parents were shocked, and their reaction really struck a chord with a lot of people. So just curious, you know, what was the reaction today after learning that she would have to spend life in prison? Yeah, Doug, yeah, well, that video that you were seeing there, that's them after being heard that they're being charged with murder. And what we saw today, while she did decline to comment, and we didn't hear anything in terms of regrets over what happened, she did begin to cry, and you could hear her starting to get emotional when Judge Denenfeld spoke briefly, and he, he even said, quote, that, you know, I'll never understand how they watch their child starve to death. So see, a horrible case, and Judge Denenfeld oversaw the whole thing, and he said he made a point multiple times saying the jurors listened to this case. They heard out every aspect of it, and I think the decision they came to was a very fair and reasonable one. So we'll have more as things move forward, and she actually heads to prison. But for now, live in the newsroom, Michael Martin, Fox 17 News. Yeah, tough case to cover, so thank you for that, Michael.